is once a wax always a wax the official website of the wax asset management system of india proudly proclaims this now but what does it actually mean it means that the wax board can stake claim uh, to a temple like in tamil nadu where wax said that it has uh, seven temples uh, in a majority uh, village belong to them as did a 1500 years old temple in one of those villages now a gurudwara which is what happened in yamuna nagar in haryana is under their uh, uh, jurisdiction as well now a government building wax said the headquarter of the surat municipal corporation were also their property and despite producing eight documents the smc lost this case if you thought that was brazen let me tell you the sunni wax board said that taj mahal was in fact given to them by shah jah it was uh, only when the supreme court asked them to submit the title deed which shah jah signature that the wax board climbed down from its contention so these were all the claims that have been made by the wax boards in the last few years and here comes the final instance once uh, that uh, left uh, even the courts uh, were befuddled by this wax board said that two islands in bait dwarka the residence of lord krishna in fact belong to them uh, this is what uh, the, uh, the high court in fact refused to even hear the wax board application when they made this big claim so here you can see that as far as uh, the uh, the claim on bait dwarka is concerned they uh, the high court uh, in fact said that they will not in fact hear the case now how was all this made possible here ha- here is how unfettered power of the wax uh, is how this was made possible section 43 of the 1995 wax act implies that the wax board can claim land based solely on thinking this is what uh, unfettered power wax had if board has un- uh, reasons to believe that any property is there it can in fact act so this is what the uh, wax act say now wax can uh, in fact then call for registration of such property under the wax act if they have any reason to believe that this property belongs to them they can call for the registration of such properties now board can also call for show cause on why property should not be registered so this is all the un fettered power of the uh, wax incumbent on the owner to then prove and the ownership so after this the owner will have to prove that this property belongs to them if wax not satisfied then owner can be asked to vacate the land so the onus is then on the owner to prove that the land belongs to them decision of wax tribunal will then be the final and binding there's a wax tribunal and tribunal and there a uh, decision will be final no court not even the supreme court can then change the tribunal's decision so on this tribunal even supreme court high court trial court none of the courts have any power as far as this is concerned so these are uh, what uh, is being called the unfettered powers of uh, the wax boards now uh, cannot arbitrarily declare properties uh, as wax acts so this is what the government proposes to then now act uh, as far as wax are concerned all claims made by the board will now be subject to be uh, verified so all the claims that they made like we told will you on taj mahal as well the, all that will be verified state works board to also ensure representation by the women till now there were no women on the top uh, of uh, all of these work boards now they will also be part of these certain outdates uh, provisions of the current law to be repealed so this is what the sources have told that times as far as this proposal is concerned now cannot arbitrarily declare properties as work as it all claims made by the board will be subject to verification all of this will be uh, brought as a bill in the parliament is what sources are in fact telling us that this will be uh, tabled as a bill next a uh, week is what we have been told so uh, in a way amendments in as many 14 amendments will be brought as far as the wf act, act is concerned so uh, proposed amendments to wf act uh, Uh, the all india muslim personal law board has called it malicious won't be tolerated remember yesterday a big statement was issued by the all india muslim personal law board uh, wherein they said that this makes it easier for the government to usurp uh, the wax assets so these are the claims made by the personal law board this reduces and restricts the power of the wax board these are malicious and they will not accept it act protected by the constitution and sharia act 
uh, is what is being said by the Muslim Personal Law Board. Government cannot make any amendments to change the status is what is being claimed. Modi government always takes away from the Muslim. Uh, after wielding the axe on WAF, now it won't end. Also, next may be endowments of six and Christian saying that next repercussions could be for the other communities as well as far as the statement is concerned. Interference in powers will not be tolerated. So this is as far as uh, the claims that are made by All India Personal uh, Law Board is concerned. They are saying that these claims are in fact uh, malicious and they could also pursue this uh, uh, legally as well. Now let's break it down for you. As uh, per these uh, proposed amendments, it will all be mandatory for the claims to be properties made by the WAF board to be verified by the government. So this is what uh, the uh, officials are telling times. Now this is uh, the amendments that will be brought to the bill. And uh, let's